1986, when we were, I was refurbishing the Sans Souci Hotel, and I got very sick. And that was the moment where I had an epiphany, because I was being ill for a whole year, and nobody noticed, and I couldn't convince anybody that I was ill. And eventually, in 1987, in July, I was taken off as a basket case to the Mayo Clinic. They had not been able to diagnose my problem here because it was even an anomaly at the Mayo Clinic, which is a very great clinic in, actually in Minnesota, funnily enough, that's like going back to my roots. And they discovered that I had a condition which was totally, practically unknown. I had thyroid cancer, which is well known, and I had Graves' disease, which is well known, which is an autoimmune disease. But the two concurrently, from 1904, they had only had 22 cases in autopsy. And this was 1987. So, um, there were only myself and another woman who presented alive with this condition because of, anyway. So I'm part of a world study with that. And I had the surgery and I had radioactive iodine treatment. And then I had to go back and have more. And I had to have body scans and all sorts of dreadful things for a period of about eight years after that. But in the meantime, the second year that I was going through all of this, there was another problem. Suddenly, they found I had a tumor in my lung. They thought it was in my liver, so we had emergency surgery, even in my debilitated condition. And it was a thing called a mesothelioma, which you may have seen on television. Mesothelioma, if you deal with anything to do with it, contact this legal office, right? So I'm part of a world study with that because it, the survival rate is 2%. So I'm a survivor, and now I've had five episodes of cancer, one just last November, where I had a, a mastectomy. So, believe me, these things are just part of my life. So, if I'm a renegade, it's because I refuse to die.